Oh, hi. Welcome back to Here We Mow Again. I'm Jeff. Have you noticed some strange dying out spots in the middle of your lawn? Or have you dug down and noticed little white creatures underneath your lawn? Well, these, my friends, are lawn grubs. Stick around while we talk about how to prevent and control these. So what exactly is a grub? Well, my daughter and I found this little guy in the dirt when we were planting our garden. She literally screamed when she saw it. He is kind of creepy looking. I don't usually treat the garden area for grubs because I don't like the chemicals to get into the vegetables. Lawn grubs are also called white grubs and they live just under the grass in the soil. These little guys are usually in a C shape and they feed on the grass roots and organic matter in the soil. Grubs have an interesting life cycle. I often think of a grub life cycle as similar to that of crabgrass. After laying dormant all winter, they wake up in the spring and they start eating your grass roots. They then turn into pupa after they have finished feeding on your lawn and soil. The pupa will stay in the soil for several weeks and then in the summer they turn into an adult Japanese beetle or also called a June bug. The Japanese beetle will feed on your garden foliage and flowers and then the beetles lay eggs in the lawn. In the fall, the eggs that the beetle so kindly left behind as a parting gift will hatch and new grubs are born. These grubs will then start eating your grass roots and destroying your lawn and the cycle continues. Getting rid of grubs and preventing eggs from being hatched is important in order to avoid your lawn from literally being eaten up during the summer and fall. When grubs are bad, your lawn can go from being beautiful and thick to a patchy mess in just a few short weeks. That's why it's so crucial to deal with these nasty grubs. There are lots of products that you can use. Here are the ones that I like. Before we go any further, I wanted to ask you guys for a favor. If you like this type of video and this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Please also thumbs up this video and turn the bell icon on so you receive all future notifications. That way we can continue to bring content like this all year long. Thanks so much. All right, so the two products I like to use are Merit and Triazicide. I use Merit as a preventative measure. The active ingredient, imidacloprin, acts as a neonicotinite and it affects the central nervous system in the grubs. I use a triazicide primarily for the current grubs in the lawn, but it also works on crickets, fleas, ticks, and webworms. If you have dogs like we do, this is a good preventative measure to keep the ticks out. All right, so we got our product in the spreader, and now we're gonna apply it. And again, I'm gonna go wide and avoid my garden, because we do not want to get this stuff in here that near anything that we're going to grow and ingest. So the garden's over here, so we'll definitely avoid it. Look at those potatoes. They're just shooting up. I got to hill them a little bit more. All right, so again, when you're using your spreader, you want to remember that the spreader goes about three to four feet in each direction. Now this, this pearl size is pretty small and it's very light, so it probably only goes about three feet. But you gotta remember when you're out here that you want to make sure that the next pass of your spreader goes to the previous spreader passes wheels. All right, so we're all done with the back. Now we're gonna start on the front. So in case you guys are wondering, grubs present a lot of problems to your lawn. Not only will they destroy your lawn, but you'll also get other critters in, in here trying to dig them up. You'll see skunks and raccoons literally digging at your lawn to try to eat the grubs because they'll smell them and they'll get them. And you may not even know that you have them in there. I remember several years ago, 
my dad and I were rebuilding a deck. So we dug down for the footings, of course. And as soon as we got into the soil, I was shocked at all the grubs. I didn't think too much of it at the time. I was just a little surprised. Well, lo and behold, come late August, in the middle of my lawn, it was all chewed up. The grubs had a field day on it. And that's when I had to start aggressively treating it. So that year is the first year I started using this two-step process. I haven't had any problems since. What the grubs will do is they'll go under your grass and they'll, they'll literally eat the roots. And they love soil that is loaded in organic matter. And once they eat those roots, your grass is done. There's nothing you can do but reseed and start over. All right, so we just finished with the front on the terrazza side. And I did go with setting three and a half. I do have a little product left. My yard, front and back and sides, is about 17,000 square feet. And the bag is 20 pounds. So this does go on fairly light, but I always say you're better off to have a little left than to not have enough. So next we're gonna work on the merit. All right, so now we're gonna spread the merit. And I do use a spreader setting of three on the Merit because the prills are smaller than the triazo side and they come out rather fast. Uh, so we don't want to run out. Well, we just finished and look what, we're out of product. So we just made it. I wasn't able to do the side yard by my neighbors. However, we got just about everything done and I do have a little of the triazo side left. So I might go over that again. Cause again, we're doing double protection here. So um, we're killing the grubs in, in two different ways with two different chemicals. So I'll go over it with triazocyte again and uh, that area that I wasn't able to get with the merit and I think we should be good. All right, so we just finished doing that small area that I wasn't able to get with the merit. I did a double pass of the triazocyte there and you'll notice that there's some of these big rocks left in here. Just chuck those away. And I will have to make sure I make a note of this in my lawn journal, what settings I use. And I definitely encourage you guys to do the same so that you know for next year what settings work and what, what don't work. And we're done for the night. All that we have left to do is to clean up and of course to run the sprinklers. And now we know that we'll be well protected against the grubs all season long and they won't dig up the grass. Well look what we have here. My wife went to the store and look what she came back with. All you in the lawn care community will definitely appreciate this. If only I could put it on the front lawn. Billy's looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> yes, the seal of approval. Okay, so you want to water this in after you apply it. I like to run my sprinklers for about 10 minutes a zone. And just remember to make sure that the lawn is dry before you let your dogs back on the grass. Well, I hope you found this information helpful and useful. I'm Jeff, and this is Billy for Here We Mow Again. Please thumbs up this video and subscribe to the channel and turn that bell notification on so you get all future notifications of videos. We have a lot more exciting content coming. We look forward to seeing you guys again real soon. Thanks so much.